Hi everyone, I'm Jun and welcome to my channel. For today's topic is about finding the area of a trapezoid. If we talk about trapezoid, what comes in your mind? You may think like this. Right! They are all like shape of a trapezoid. By definition, in Euclidean geometry, a convex quadrilateral with at least one pair of parallel sides. The parallel sides are called the basis of the trapezoids and the other two sides are called the legs or the lateral sides. Did you find it complicated or hard to understand? I will make it simple. This is a trapezoid. It has at least one parallel sides. One and two. Base one and base two. And these two sides are the legs or the lateral sides. What is the importance of finding the area of the trapezoid? Supposedly, you are tasked to find the area of a certain parcel of land that has a shape of a trapezoid. Well, mostly of land, it's not square-like shape nor rectangular shape. Hence, if it is trapezoid shape, then you can find the area by doing this. Let us say I have a trapezoid. What should I do to find the area of this trapezoid? Well, so I'm going to do is to make a copy of this trapezoid here. Then I will flip it vertically and put it together to form a to understand more, please do watch this video. Hello guys, for our example number one, uh, let's study this uh, trapezoid. Having a base one of 12 meters in our height, this broken line is 10 meters. And at the bottom, we have the base two equals to 20 meters. To solve the area of this trapezoid so we're going to find a way in order for this figure to become a parallelogram so first we're going to copy an exact figure of this trapezoid here then we're going to flip it vertically and we're going to Join them together in order to form a parallelogram. So, in the original trapezoid, we have the base one is equal to 12 meters and a height of 10 meters. In again, the base one is equal to 20 meters. Since this is already a parallelogram our base one now that is equals to 12 meter we're going to bring it down here so our base or the base of the parallelogram will be equal to this one the base of the parallelogram is equals to b1 plus b2 which is equal to 12 meters plus 20 meters then our base now or the base of the parallelogram is equal to is equals to 32 meters then applying now the formula of the parallelogram having a height of 10 meters and a base of 32 meters we have 
area of the parallelogram is equals to base times height where our base is equals to 32 meters and a height of 10 meters substituting the value of base and the height into the formula so we have area of the parallelogram is equals to 32 meters times 10 meters then our area of the parallelogram is equals to 320 square meter since one trapezoid is equal to one half of the parallelogram the area of one trapezoid is one half of the area of the parallelogram thus the area of trapezoid is area of the trapezoid is equals to one half times base times height where base times height is equals to the area of the parallelogram equals to 320 square meter substituting now this value into the area of the trapezoid we have area of the trapezoid is equals to one half times 320 square meter then area of the trapezoid is equals to 160 square meter therefore to solve the area of a trapezoid use this formula a is equals to base 1 plus base 2 times the height all over 2 where base 1 and base 2 are the bases our h is the height so this is now the general formula for finding the area of the trapezoid for our example number two we have another trapezoid here having a base one of three meters base two of six meters and a height of six meters okay then we're going to find now the area of this trapezoid Applying the formula of the trapezoid, we have the area is equals to one half of base one plus base two times the height, where our base one is equals to three meters, base two is six meters, and our height is six meters. Substituting the value to the formula, we have area is equals to the one half of 3 meters plus 6 meters multiplied by 6 meters then we have area is equals to one half of 9 meter times 6 meters then we have area is equals to one half of 54 square meter then our area now is equals to 27 square meter learn a lot from this topic. Until next video, thanks for watching. Bye!